Hello and welcome to episode 56 of my Terraria Calamity mod playthrough. The footage you're watching at the minute is me building my additional two smaller um, UFOs, but we'll come back to that. Plan today, as the title of this video will probably allude to, the plan is Plight the Moon Lord. Um, we are basically all almost ready to summon him. We have one more pillar we need to bring down and then I think he summons the next knight. I think he's a specifically a nocturnal boss, I can't remember. It's been a long time since we've last fought him. Um, as previously stated, the last time I played this game was over two years ago when they released Journey's End, uh, which I played to master mode, up until the point that um, we was taking on the Empress of Light uh, while enraged. Uh, and because of a bug with that, I never actually got around to fighting the Moon Lord a second time around. So my experience with the Moon Lord is actually from the time previous to that that I played, which would have been when the Moon Lord was originally introduced. That was a long ass time ago. Um, so all I can really remember about it is what it looks like. It's a cthulhu monster which has an eye or it has a head and two hands. Uh, the hands have eyes in them, its head has a third eye. The only attack I remember from it is that third eye and its head firing a beam that does a 360 degree sweep. Um, if memory serves correctly, you can destroy both hands by um, attacking the eye in them and you destroy it by attacking the eye in the head. That's all I remember. Um, that of course does not factor in for any changes that Calamity Mod has made uh, and any changes we have in Revengeancy mode. So I am partially blind on this pre-known boss. I also have no idea what's going to happen after we've beaten it. Um, the progression guide, if I, uh, the progression guide, if I was to load it up, um, I'm using the one on the Calamity Mod wiki. Um, if I was to load it back up at the bottom of the page, you can see the words post Moon Lord, and I have not read beyond that. I have not scrolled down beyond that. I have no idea what happens post Moon Lord. We just know that there is obviously 15 more relics to get, which is why we're building the UFOs. Um, the UFOs didn't turn out quite how I wanted them to because I didn't really consider the fact that we were given enough, or we were intentionally given enough space to have the relic and the trophy um, in the same location. The problem with that is it means that they have to be six tall or seven tall to fit both, um, which meant that it's a little bit more taller and stockier um, than it would be relative to its width. So it doesn't quite look right. Um, but I've made some adjustments to it since I finished this. I, um, the video that you're watching is six minutes long and three minutes in. You must remember that. Um, I'm going to be using, or I used in that video, um, astral bricks for the bottom half of each floor. I've changed that to mithril and brick walls and platinum brick walls for the middle section and bottom section respectively. And I think it looks a little bit better. Um, other than that, as they are finished, they are here with me at the minute. Um, what else? Uh, I may as well start collecting the stuff I'm going to need for today. So the plan for Moon Lord will be to use the summoner sets um, because I'm fairly sure it does not move much other than to stay with you. I'll be using the roofless, uh, the fuel cell bundles. Um, so we'll be using the bees um, because they deal more damage. And if it's a stationary target most of the time, then they should be able to hit significantly more. That's assuming that um, it doesn't become more mobile as a result of Calamity Mod. So that will be the plan. We'll be using those. Uh, let's summon them in now and grab the potions uh, what else yes we'll be killing or fighting the moon lord until we but defeat him today one way or the other we will keep going I don't think I need a potion of omnipotence um, it wouldn't hurt to have it anyway Let's not forget the food. I'm going to need to make some more grape juice before too long. What else? Um, 
we may as well use our elementals. It's not like we currently have much choice, many additional choices for accessories for our summon build. The only thing is whether or not to equip the shield and give ourselves a little bit of extra defense. Am I missing a warden? No, I did change it. Okay, that's fine. I must be out of range of the, um, yeah, I'm out of range of the um, base statue. Okay. We have a hundred pots, so that'll last us. There's our whip. I need to move that off there. Okay. I think I have everything I wanted in my inventory. And your video should be finishing in a few seconds. So I will hover over here with the final result. So yeah, um, I've changed this wall here and this wall here in both of them. And I think this looks better than... Um, what we had previously. I'm not 100% happy with how they are. Um, the way that these are structured is that the Moon Lord Relic will go here and then its trophy will go underneath it and then we'll fill it going down. Theoretically there's enough space here for six on either side but we're only going to have five on either side. I gave myself three extra spacing um, and on the bottom floor there's going to be uh, two on either side. And I don't think there's any extra room there. Yeah, that's six. Um, this one over here is going to be where we're going to put all of our armor, but we're not going to bother with that yet, at least not today. Um, right, I did notice something that I want to quickly fix. I need a Martian conduit. I thought I had fixed all of these little holes, but apparently I missed one here. There we go. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. And the pillar's still over there, that's why we're getting the music. I'm hoping this looks okay, this bit here. It's supposed to be effectively the um, transportation beam. It was the only real way I could think of doing it. I wish that there was a rainbow block that was smooth. Um, but as you saw me looking through, I couldn't find a wall that looked like it would fit. We have individual coloured bricks, but I don't know about a smooth rainbow block. Maybe there is one, it's just that they're not animated in here. Anyway, enough of all of that. Uh, we have our buffs. We have our armour set. We have the weapons we're going to be using. I think we're as ready as we're going to be. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we need to do. It's now daytime, good. Uh, we're going to need to bring down the shield on this thing again. Let's sit in the middle then, we'll get the most out of our um, turrets. Yeah. The only thing I specifically remember is that um, the Moon Lord will spawn after the final pillar has gone down. I forget whether or not it's immediately after or whether there's a uh, well, there's a time delay one way or another or whether it's the next night is what I'm trying to get at. And what we will do is uh, we can put these down now. Actually, I don't think... Yeah, that's not going to be suitable for this guy. We are going to want one of these and one of these. And then this will go up here and we'll have to keep... We'll have to keep reapplying the rainbow. Take the shield down. Do I have the calming things on? No, we left the calming stuff turned off, so... There we go. 
nuke it. Okay, set up an impending doom approaches. I really want to use my buffs early. We may as well set these up now. What am I going to want ready? I'm going to want this thing ready. Do you spawn in the day? What's your timer? I should be pointing this down. I wasn't even sure where to fucking look there. I did not remember it making that kind of difference to the colour scape. Uh, we may as well leave all that soda stuff over there. We're only going to, or we're only about to make a whole bunch more of it. That did not go well at all. Um, I could see, well, I could see and tell the difference between the attacks and that, but I wasn't sure well how much attention I needed to be paying to its hands or what it was doing. Hmm. Okay, well, we have to respawn it the long way because... Um, we need to farm the lun lunatic cultist. Well, I do have everything we need to just immediately kill it, or immediately summon it. We need the trophy from the Lunatic Cultist, so I am going to make a note of how long this has been going on for. Because this loop is going to take a while. 13 minutes. Because we'll have to kill the Lunatic Cultist, then come back and... Um, kill the pillars again. So yeah, I will be back once we are at a point to respawn it. God damn it, we have the... Oh, because I'm holding it. I'm going to get myself just immediately killed. This is going great. <laughs> we just died to the lunatic cultist again. And for a terrible reason. Because we forgot to set up the um, turrets first and then forgot to put down our weapon. And so I was trying to figure out why I wasn't attacking with the weapon I thought I had in my hand. 
That was irritating. Let's go get some vengeance. Do things properly this time. Okay, we should be more or less ready. I just had to um, run or speed through this day because there was a sandstorm and high winds which is not going to be good to fight something that I was entirely unable to process exactly which attacks I needed to be careful of. Green shakes around about three times and then it spawns. Kind of wish the towers that re or appeared in the same locations. Right. You go there. You go there. Use buffs. Throw that down. Throw that there. I can fire that as close to directly up as I can get it. We're already taking damage from stuff I can't see. Give it one thing, it's taking damage quickly. Not oh, good. I was going the wrong way around it to avoid that, and I don't think that's something I can dash through. Okay. Time to start the loop again. That went better, but I still can't see half of the things he's shooting at me. I'm taking damage at the initial or at the start of the fight, and I cannot, I legitimately cannot see what I'm taking damage from. So I'm going to work on the assumption that I'm not going to bother using the Unipiscence potion, just in case that's causing some kind of issue with the colon or something. Anyway, we need to go kill ourselves the cultist again. So, I will do that and I'll be back once we are ready. I'm not going to bother with pots for the cultist. Hopefully we don't mess it up this time. Um, yeah, and we'll be back once we are once again ready to take on Moon Lord. So, see you in a sec. Okay, here we go again. Uh, we're going to make a change of tactic this time around. We are going to use um, the Terra Prism. I've also turned off my um, pets. No! Go away, Prismatic Lance Shard. I do not want to be fighting. It's still there! <laughs> okay, it's disappeared. Um, re up that. Fire that. Okay, I can actually see them this time. They're not the same colour. The 
being able to see them doesn't mean that they can't still sneak up on me. That wasn't as bad as the first time, but not as good as the second time. That's still pretty terrible. And now we have to go through the motions again. All because we forgot to grab the... Um, what's it called? There's a name for it. It's eluding me at the minute. Um, the law fragment. The prelude law fragment. We forgot that. So now we have to do the long way around of summoning him. Because otherwise it's a pain in the ass. May as well put it all together. So yeah, once again, I will go and do the loop and we'll be back once we're ready to face the Moon Lord again. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay. Not what we want to be doing, taking random bits of damage while we're trying to summon the thing. Why is the hitbox in that so fucking small? Okay. They're already up. Any moment now. Everything ready? Everything ready. Been having to fight the existence of sandstorms continually appearing. I'm going to try and fight this the way that I fought it last time. Or bit. Oh, for God's sake! Stop spawning in Pismatic Lance Wings. The last thing I want is an Empress of Light while I'm trying to fight the Moon Lord. Okay, so the orbs are coming from the left hand. And the bullets are coming from that one. We're going to have a beam in a second. Open. Which way are you going? by the beam. Where's my cursor? Beam come in. Which direction? Fuck it. Much closer that time at least. We still didn't get the um Watchma thingy from the Watchma thingy, the um, trophy, so we have to go the long way round again. A lot of those attacks still seem to come from out of nowhere. The colour scheming on that is me. I'm fairly sure it didn't used to be that bad, it used to be way more readable. Anyway. The loop continues. Uh, let me go get the grave. Put these down. And I'll be back once we're ready to fight it again. Ah. We did swap over to this lot to give us extra defense, the astral stuff. But I forgot, the astral stuff also gives us danger detection. Which would have messed up with the color scheme. Because that was, was messing us up last time. Although they still looked around about right. We'll stick with what we have, what we know. We could use the um, Asgard Valor if we want to stop it from stun locking us in place.
But we would be doing that at the um, expense of using the Hallowed Rune, which gives us damage and defense and life regen. So I don't know. I'll think about it. Anyway, I'll be back again. One moment. Okay, we just need to take down the one more tower again, but we died to the cultist. I stopped recording. I shouldn't have done. But I think we're about 30 minutes through the episode, but it was one hour 30 minutes through the um, recording, so I wanted to save some disk space. Apparently it was a bad idea. Um, we're going to have Asgard Valors on because the reason we died to the cultist was the same reason we died to Cthulhu. Um, it juggled us with its attacks. So we took three lots of damage in quick succession. And then got finished off by something else. So hopefully that'll fix or prevent that from happening. That's the plan at least. Um, do you want to go with the plague armor or the heavier armor? Let's go with the plague armor. It's only a little bit more damage, but it is a little it is more damage nonetheless. Come on, some of these spawn rates. Hitbox of those things need to be bigger. The entire reason why I ended up not using it for so long. Because its default hitboxes are just too small. Oh. Okay. Come on, let's clean up. Daytime, so we don't need to worry about prismatic lance wings trying to get themselves killed. Right, buffs, extra sword, refresh just in case. Same goes with that. And let's fire that. Taken a chunk of damage and had to heal. And just ran straight through that. We're almost dead already. Taking damage from projectiles that are off screen. I didn't even see it fire those things up, much less know they were coming back down. Jesus. It didn't used to be this hard. Sure, it's not an easy fight, but... This is ridiculous. I can't see half of the attacks coming in time enough to dodge them. Right, around we go again. Um, I will stop the recording after I've killed, um, what's it face? The Lunatic Cultist, because we still haven't got its relic, its um, trophy. So, I will see you when we are once again ready to fight the Moon Lord. Okay, loop complete. And reminder, yes, I know there is a summon item for this guy. If you wasn't paying attention the first time, or you've just been skipped over it, um, I need to kill the Lunatic Cultist until it drops its um, trophy, because I need that trophy to get the, the lore item, because we forgot to grab the lore item the first time it drops it, and it only drops it the first time. 
And the reason I want it is because I have every other one, so it will be missing from my collection. Okay. Uh, I've put the Astral Armor back on. We have the Asgard Valor on. We're going to be trying to use these guys this time around. Am I forgetting anything? We have both out. That's how we have that out. Right. Let's try and pay a little bit more attention to its hands. Damn it. We've already taken so much damage and I didn't even notice where from. Eyes open, get above it. Come on, I cannot top eye. Doesn't do much damage. Damn it, I didn't even... <sighs> Those attacks come out of nowhere. <sighs> and so the loop continues. Okay, and here we go again. I've swapped back to the Plague Bring of Armor and um, the Terror Prisms. I actually watched back um, how well the little bees were doing and they were missing a lot uh, because the target they're after is actually very small and with us moving around so much, the target was moving around too much. So they just straight up couldn't hit it. Any second now. <laughs> yeah, ran straight into some of those. Dead already. Oh, fucking sandstorm, no. That's just gonna make things even worse as sod in sea. I've been battling with that sandstorm basically half the times I've tried to summon it. The sandstorm has come back. But it wasn't the sandstorm that killed us. We was down to basically no health whatsoever, and I have no idea what hit me. Um, great. Hopefully the sandstorm will be gone by the time we need to do this again. So, I will get back to the loop because I'm fairly sure, even though I've been at this for well over two hours at this point, the video isn't that long yet. So I'll see you in a bit. It is becoming evident that I'm starting to get a little annoyed. 
Case in point. The blue pillar killed me. Probably the um, squid looking things that have a tendency to shoot really fast bullets directly at you. Uh, okay. Right, carrying on. Two more pillars left. go. Why did I lose that? I know I died, but I picked these up again. Right. Eyes open. Above it. Which way are we going? Eyes open. Okay. Taking damage from I can hear the sound effect for the damage, but I can't see anything hitting me. Shit, I started flying too soon. Get up. The, fact I, the thing that's most annoying is hearing the damage effect go off, but being entirely unable to see what hit me. That is the most annoying thing that's going on. And it would be less of a problem if it wasn't for the damn colour palette. Maybe things would be easier to see if it wasn't in the desert. I don't know. But everything is blending together, which isn't helping matters. Okay, we still haven't got the trophy, so I've got to go the long way around again. I would very much like to be doing this the quick way, because it would save time and we could just bang our head against it. We was down to at least less than 20%. I know we've got it down to less than 10% once. So I don't know how far down we got it that time around. Anyway, I'll go kill the cultist and then I will go get myself a fresh cup of tea because it's probably 5.15 now and I started recording a little after 2. So, we will see you in a bit. Okay, I've lost track of which attempt this is. We still did not get the trophy, so if we fail, we're going to have to do the loop again. Um, but one way or the other, after this, I'm going to have to get some editing done, just so I know how long this video actually is. Uh, 
Okay. I did look back at um, the previous fail and I did see what hit us. It was a glancing shot from one of the larger orbs. What am I doing? Why did I do that? And get above it. Perfectly without going through the sodden things. We still need to kill. Let's do this from the bottom. Bollocks. Over it. I was fucked. I had to get over the top of that attack, and I knew the laser was coming. I needed to land. Or dash through it, and apparently you can't dash through it. Fair enough. Okay, I better get some editing done so I know how long this episode is, and I will see you either to end the episode in failure or to give it another go. So I'll be right back. Okay, I think that's recording. I didn't hear it break. So, looking at the time, we have enough for two clean or two more clean kills. So the plan will be thus: uh, we will give one more clean kill here. Um, well, clean attempts, meaning that I'm not going to edit them down. So we'll have one more attempt. If this doesn't, or if we fail this time around, then we will enter a month. Fuck you, game! I literally waited like 20, 30 fucking minutes for you to get rid of a, um, thunderstorm. And now you're going to give me a sandstorm as well? Buffs. That. Yeah, um, so if we don't beat it this time, we'll enter a montage. Open. I love it. No, oh, we've already got its heart open. Shit. That timed well for once. Why did I just let him eat that? Oh 
don't please die! Ah, oh, thank fuck. <laughs> Slayer or champion of Tarawa, slayer of words, the profane fiery bla uh, blaze. The perf <sighs> oh, credits. <laughs> Slightly broken credits. Um, the profane flame blazes fiercely. Cosmic terrors are watching. Shrieks are echoing from the dungeon. A cold and dark energy has materialized in space. The automaton has new help tips available. The Moon Lord has been defeated. Where are you? Give. <laughs> I'm not forgetting that. Okay. The hell's he doing up there? Okay. F false epilogue. Took some doing. <laughs> okay, let me quickly put this down. That can be put away. Ah, oh, we can actually... We can actually start putting the music boxes down somewhere, but we've not been getting them. We have very few of them. Yeah, we only have three of them. I don't think I can fix that. It is three times too big. It doesn't look like the zoom mod can correct for the game's inherent bad scaling when playing at this kind of resolution. Okay. We're going to need to kill him some more. This is almost a certainty. Because we still need to get prelude. But. Let us read Requiem. As the light dragon was fading, a monk visited him. Nearly none understood what transpired that day. Most said he had pa uh, his passing was eased. The truth? Zerotos, heroic soul, was consumed utterly. The monks stood, reefed in primordial light, declaring themselves Zerok, the first god. When a dragon is laid to rest on Ares, Ares, its, power, its powers are relinquished so that they may one day return. Xerok renounced their sworn oath and broke the cycle, becoming a traitor without equal. Word of the ascension spread quickly. Many attempted to follow suit, hoping to claim an org soul for themselves. Now, sorry, I was distracted briefly by the fact I saw the um, lanterns actually scaled correctly, I believe. <laughs> For some reason. Now you know, good intentions or no, that all gods are sinners, each and every one complicit in genocide. Wherever your journey may lead, wherever you with me, uh, whether you're with me or against, may fortune favour you, for nothing else will. Okay. It gave us a lot of stuff, and it gave us one thing we definitely wanted. And the portal gun! 
That's not much Lumite. That really isn't much Lumite. It's 25. I don't even think that's enough for a set of armor. Eight. It isn't. It hasn't even given me enough for a set of armor. Well, it has given us, is it this one? No, which one is it? This is it, the Celestial Onion. Permanently increases the number of accessory slots to seven. Something that doesn't actually work in master mode. Now's the holder to reverse gravity. Cause upon a suspicious looking eye to provide light. Uh, oh yeah, we need to re-enable these. Yeah, still prefer this thing. And this is a pair of wings, effectively. Calamity vanities. Must be, there's no bonus to it. Okay, we'll worry about what we're going to do with this loot tomorrow. I don't believe the world has been blessed with Lumite or anything of the sort. But I will have a look, actually we will do this on, on camera. We'll let this lot fade up in the background, actually no, because tapping out is going to pause the game. Okay. Let's very, very carefully and very, very slowly scroll down on post Moon Lord to see whether or not Lumite is available anywhere other than Moon Lord. Upon defeating Moon Lord, several things will occur. Moon Lord will drop the Celestial Onion, which increases the player's accessory slot by one, like the Demon Heart. Moon Lord's death additionally generates new planetoids made of a large amount of Lumite and Exodus clusters. Several items can now be crafted with Lumite. Many elemental themed weapons and all five classes can be obtained along with new accessories. Imperium armor can be craft, uh, made as a rogue uh, as an alternate to Lunar Fragment armor. Several profane enemies will begin to spawn in both the hallowed underground biomes. These enemies drop unholy essence, which can be used to craft many new items. I think we'll leave it there. Uh, as you know, because we do want to know where we need to be going before we start looking at getting the next boss. So we now know that we can go into space to find the Lumite. Phantasmal spirit, uh, spirits will begin to spawn in the dungeon. Similarly to dungeon spirits, they drop protoplasma, uh, which can be crafted into supreme mana potions. The profane guardians, dragonfoil, and poltergeist can now be challenged, although it is recommended that the poltergeist be fought later on. Uh, and then it's telling me what we can do with that stuff. So we shall leave it at that line there. Um, we have a new planetoid. There it is. Exodium, 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 Exodium. Uh, that one already existed. There we go. Okay, um, so I just need to bring this up. Okay, we're about... We probably just have enough time to go mine that. So let's... While the credits are running... Actually, no. No. We will do that first thing next episode. Because um, we're also going to need to go through all of our actual loot. And this is the middle of the week. So we'll do that next episode because that will then give us the opportunity to start crafting everything. And we know we have a lot of stuff to craft. So yeah, we shall leave it there for today. Thank you very much for watching, hoping to the show. Hey look, that's supposed to be me. That is the stuff I'm wearing. 
Um, so yeah, we'll leave it there for today. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you for playing. We ain't done. And hopefully, we'll see you next time. Cheerio.